Well, I'm not having a very good day today. It's not started out very well. It is Tuesday, so that's a good thing. Yesterday I woke up and I slept well and I felt good and my hair looked great. I had a great hair day and today, not so much. I uh, pulled out of my garage to leave to head into work and um, hit my car on the side of the well, on the garage itself. I had not cleared the edge. And so let's go take a look at the damage that I did to my car today. Plus I messed up the little sensor eye, you know, that's on the garage door. So my garage door wouldn't go back down. So now I have to have a, I messed with it and messed with it. Couldn't get it fixed. I was hoping to get it fixed before my husband found it all messed up. But anyway, that didn't happen. So the garage repair people are on their way to get that repaired so that our garage door works but anyway let's go look at the damage I did today so anyway here we go can you see that I don't know what you can see there I did it kind of awkwardly but yeah see this bit dent right here yeah that's new the blue this is from when I hit a garbage can. I think maybe I just shouldn't be driving at all. Anyway, we're here at quilting. So maybe my day will get better. We're going to make some strawberry jam first because strawberries came on sale. So strawberry jam, a little bit of quilting. Maybe that'll make my day better. Thanks. Bye. It's Tuesday. So we're here at my mom's. But we're doing something a little different today. Um... We're still going to quilt because, you know, it's quilting, but uh, we might be doing strawberry jam. See? See that? So i got to carry all this in, and um, then we're going to get to work on some strawberry jam and hopefully get some quilting done also. But we'll check in and see how we're doing. Well, my say what you're off. doing! We're making jam. I'm taking the tops off. <laughs> Kim saw this on the internet, <clears throat> thought she'd give it a go, and look how lovely. Well, look at that. Look at Pops that. that right off of there. Haven't had to. Oh, that one didn't work as well. But it still does, and then you get to go. <laughs> I am doing it the old-fashioned way because I'm just cutting mine as I go. And then Mom is, look at here, getting trigger ready. Everyone's just being a hive of productivity. And uh, hopefully we'll get to quilt here shortly. We got done. Look at all of Kim. It didn't take that much time. It didn't, did it, Mom? What well, time was it? 2.30? What time did you guys start? One and all of my 1.30-ish. Look at all of mine. Oh, it looks like you got more than me. Thanks, Mom, for your help. I didn't. It's because my jars are universally sized. That was fun. So, um, guess what we get to do now? Uh, quilt! Finally! Okay, so that's what we're going to do, and we'll check in later. <laughs> so we put virtual reality glasses on Christy. And oh my oh my she's now standing on I can't. a building that has been demolished. Where's the robot? I can't! The robot's robot. gone! I, I'm gonna fall off! I'm gonna fall off! <laughs> <laughs> the blimp is crashing! I can't! And so she thinks she's I standing can't. on this really tall thing. I can't! I know my brain says I'm not, but I am! Oh, he's way up there! Okay, watch the robot. I can't! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> It is really weird. I can't! Oh my! Ah! Ah! Not, look, ah! look up! Look up! Look up! Look up! Oh my head! Ah! <laughs> I can't! <laughs> oh my head! <gasps> I don't know what's happening! I'm falling! I'm falling! Ah! <laughs> 
Skin's turn. What's she doing? She's riding a roller coaster. Oh, I don't know that I like that. Oh, hey. oh, 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 yeah, that is weird. <laughs> is that it? That's it. Uh, normally, we're at quilting. Hi, Kristen. But we're not at quilting anymore because we're good moms. And so if you see behind us, see behind us, we had to take a break um, and come to track. Second to track. Girls so we're First hoping girls that medley. the races are almost over so that we can get back to quilting because that's truly where our hearts lie. Yes, what Tuesdays are all about. So hopefully we'll be right back. Bye. So here I am at quilting. I'm the only one here. Christy's gone to a track meet. Um, mom's gone to a quilting class. She'll be back in a little bit. The girls, Savannah and Gabby, haven't come, and I don't know if they're coming, and Kristen's not here. Um, so Colleen's working, so it's just me. Uh, my day's not gotten much better. Um, I'll show you what I just did. It's a new, all new quilting experience and I'll share it with you since I have no one else to make fun of me. Um, first of all, here's what I'm working on. Let me show you the elephant. Can you see it? I'm not doing a very good job with that. Anyway, there he is. I'll turn it around, give you a better, a better look at him. There we go. Oh, I just can't just can't wrap my brain around that. Anyway, got that much done. Still working on him. He sure has been fun though. Anyway, come on over here and look what I did. So I was sewing. I've had to unpick about every seam that I've done today, so I'm a little bit frustrated. Um, so I'm working on this piece, and I'm sewing. And sewing this piece and look what I did. Can you see that? Can you see that? I totally sewed that pin right into my quilt. Right up over the top of that plastic flat piece. Just sewed right over it. So now I gotta figure out how easy it is to unpick out of plastic. Anyway, that's how my night's going. So maybe it's a good thing that I'm here alone. I'll check with you later. Bye. So here I am again. And uh, the piece that I ran over the pin, well, I got the pin out, got that fixed, got the piece done. It's right here. See? Isn't that nice? See all that, I don't know, turquoisey blue color? Yeah, it's um, the wrong fabric. Um, this is the trunk, part of the trunk of the elephant, and I did the background fabric instead of the trunk fabric. So I'll be taking this whole block apart. Thanks. Bye. Um, I'm back. Just wanted to show you what it's supposed to look like. There we go. There we go. Let's go put it in place. Maybe I'll feel a little better now that I got it right. Don't have his trunk blue. Anyway. I don't know. I don't know how it goes. Something like that. Something like that. Anyway. Thanks. My Aunt Darlene comes sometimes to do show and tell. So she brought another one. So we're going to look at that. Wow. I love the black in it. That is pretty dark. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, that's beautiful. See, in each block is... And that's not paper piece, that's that that piece, normal. There. Yeah. 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 yeah, that it's just reaffirms is, that my quilts are dumb. Uh-huh. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> it does. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Thank you. I have the book for this. I've never made it. I love the colors. Look at the zigzaggy the in there. It was a Christmas. Yeah. It was a Christmas book. 
That's beautiful. I might need to make that. I love that sashing. The mm -hmm. That's really pretty. Ribbony look. Well, there. that was um, a stack and whack. That fabric was left over from the Oh, okay. 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 I love it. Yeah. Well, that came out really good, really well. I love the yeah. colors. I do too. And all the borders once again. Mm hmm. And it's a white background. That's why it speaks to Kim. But she I likes have, white background. I do have that. So okay. if you decide you want to. Okay, make while it we're filming, we got my elephant out. Elephant. Elephant. That turned out so good. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about my elephant. I think I will probably have to. So, and then there's Kim. The have little to frog rest back pick. And now, Judy's gem. Okay, I've been doing a lot of unpicking today, so I guess unpicking is on my mind. I made started this thing, had the wrong color in here. It was the very first piece in, so I had to take the whole thing apart. So here's a couple of unpicking tips. I've discovered if you're using a seam ripper that it is safer if you unpick toward the edge of your piece instead of toward the fabric because every once in a while you might slip and cut your fabric. I've done that. And ask me how I know that. <laughs> You've done that. But if you do it this way, if you cut, it's not quite as bad. And you only need to unpick like every third stitch. You don't have to go do every one. Just do like every third stitch. Then you can go on this side and flip up that and just pull that long that long thread out and it works really fast. If you have a lot to do, these little gadgets are really handy. One time, believe it or not, I sewed, was sewing a binding on, and I sewed one side on, and then I sewed the other side on, but I sewed it on the binding that I had already sewed, so I had two bindings on one side. Can you imagine anybody being that dumb? Here I am. And for something like that, these little, this is called a quick ripper, really do work well. You kind of pull off the fabric and just kind of cut you, and it goes really fast if you have a long, you know, a long piece. That was really a stupid thing, but it worked really well to unpick that binding. I mean, that border, that border that had been put on the other border. So those are my unpicking tips. I'm very good at unpicking because I have done them. And what do you call it when you unpick again? We call that re-unpicking. <laughs> very good. We're very familiar with that one too. Yes. I think we've moved on to re re unpicking. unpicking. <laughs> and have you ever unpicked something, re sewn it, and made the same mistake two times in a row? <laughs> re unpicking, I think, was coined by our my granddaughter by Savannah. By our, she was probably thirteen or so at the time. Yep. Yeah, very true term. <laughs> Good luck. I hope you don't ever have to unpick. <laughs> Hi, we left quilting and we didn't say goodbye, but I just wanted to thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed our crazy quilting antics, and we hope to see you next week. Bye.